Hi everyone, welcome back to the Organized Notebook. Today we would like to share how to travel journal digitally. Keeping a digital travel journal is a great way to keep your travels organized, do travel research, and also have a nice way to keep all of your memories and photos. Let's go over how to use our template from Gumroad. We like to keep a digital travel journal using Notion. Before you can download our template, make sure you have a Notion account. We'll leave a link to Notion in the description. You can download our template from our website using Gumroad. We'll also provide this link below. Click the Gumroad button and fill in the information. Once it's filled in, you'll get redirected to the template. Click the Duplicate button. You'll need to either log in to your Notion account or it may redirect you automatically. Let's have a brief overview of the template. When you first open a template, you'll see that the page is divided into two sections. The first section is Travel Destinations. This area shows all of your travel destinations in one place. You can view it with different filters like upcoming, wish list, visited, and all by clicking next to travel destinations. Each destination shows up as a gallery card with the city, country, and trips you've taken there. The second section is my trips. At the bottom of the main template, there's a list of trips you've taken or will take in the future. This is a handy way to see all of your trips in one place. These trips are also linked to the destination, so you can also access them from the travel destinations. It's also possible to switch to a calendar view. Next, let's go over how to add a location. When you have a location you want to visit or will visit soon, you'll need to first add it to the journal as a location. Go to the View All filter, and then click Plus New to add a location. Go ahead and fill in all of the information in the top part. The title should be the city, then add the country, and choose your tag. For now, don't worry about the three arrowed sections. Also, make sure to add a cover photo and icon if you wish. Let's import the travel destination template. To fill in the bottom section for the location, make sure to import the template Travel Destination. First, you can embed the weather and the map of your destination here. If you need help with this, we recommend you to watch the video about adding widgets to Notion. We'll leave a link in the description. On the right side of the weather and map, you can add resources like local phrases, books, movies, and YouTube videos, as well as travel articles. To embed things, all you need to do is paste the link into the embed slot. If you need more slots, click the six dots on the side and click duplicate. The next section is about your trips and relevant research. My trips is where you store all of your trips you've taken or plan to take in this location. We'll go over this in detail soon. On the right side, you have My Research. This is where you can add various information you've researched about the location. Click Plus New to add a new travel entry. This will open up a new page where you can add a title, a link, and a type. You can use this space creatively for your own needs. Feel free to add a cover photo.
Next, let's go over how to add a trip. There are two ways to add a trip. You can add it through the destination by clicking plus new under my trips. The destination is already added for you in this way. Another option is by going to the bottom of the main page of the template to my trips. Here you can add a trip, but you'll need to add the destination yourself. Next, let's go over importing the My Trip template. Now that you've added a trip, let's import the template My Trip. The first thing you will see is the travel planner. Here, there is a calendar where you can put your specific itinerary for that trip. Simply go to the date you want to add your itinerary and click the plus sign. Next, there is a to-do list and packing list to help you prepare for the trip. We've also included an expense tracker to keep track of your costs during the trip. This is simple to use and it can also be helpful if you're traveling with someone and need to split costs. Click plus new to add a new row to expenses and fill in the information. Next, there's a section for important documents. Here you can simply embed links as you need. Click the embed button and paste in the link. If you need more embed slots, click the six dots on the side and click duplicate. You can also do the same thing for the drop downs if you need more categories. Let's go over my memories. In the bottom of the page of your specific trip, there's a section called My Memories. This is a great place to journal as you travel or store your photos. Click plus new to add an entry to your memory journal. Here you can add your favorite photo and jot down some thoughts in your journal. First, fill in the title, date taken, and a caption. Then, let's import the template Memory Journal. Now you can embed your photo in the embed link. Then write some thoughts on the right hand side. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed learning about how to keep a digital travel journal. Let us know your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Subscribe us for more productivity and organization related videos. See you in the next one.